DistroWatch Desktop Inspection, June Week 2, 2016. Today on the 14th of June, the second uh, week of June 2016, we're going to take a look what happened in these last 14 days. Um, we take a look at uh, the first distro and we see that elementary is uh, making a comeback there and let's take a look at elementary linux and there it is as always the beautiful mountains great uh, beautiful colorful uh, dock and as i can see a sort of gnome desktop I'm not sure what's gonna happen if we hit the applications but it looks like GNOME so yeah looking good there and welcome back on the 14th of June you can run this on several uh, machines uh, you need a 64-bit machine to run this and I think they also have a 32-bit version I'm not sure it's built on Ubuntu 16.04 LTS so you have all the benefits of all the new uh, little features that Ubuntu also has to offer we continue with Black Lab Linux Black Lab Linux is a kind of uh, web basis yeah it's more like uh, how you can say that uh, most services are going via cloud and it's a cloud based uh, Linux distro uh, really nice for people that are into cloud um, me myself uh, I don't use cloud so much uh, even on my iPhone I turned it off because yeah I'm not used to these things um, at least cloud this can run uh, as you can see uh, on 64 bit machines and uh, the file size is 1654 megabyte and here you can see all the apps go ahead take a look at the website what they have to offer we continue with barua and barua is from uh, andrew colin kisa has announced the release of barua enterprise edition uh, also go take a look at Arua. it looks kind of yeah barua i'm not sure what it's uh, for and what you can do with it uh, not sure um, but uh, I'm sure that there are people out there that will find out uh, what the purpose is of this beautiful <clears throat> yeah, complicated picture that we see. We continue. We continue with Handy Linux and this is from our French friends. And uh, Handy Linux, as you can see, it looks really simple, but it's very powerful. Um, yeah, um, I think this color, these colors are kind of 60s. I love it. Uh, also love the the red uh, here in the corner it's kind of yeah i think that the icons maybe should have another color red or so blue you know make it more colorful just like these ones here then it come really pops out of the gray out of the gray so yeah handy menu so handy linux what is handy linux the handy linux distribution a user-friendly french distribution based on debian has released an update of the projects 2.x series go ahead and check it out dvds are downloadable in 64-bit versions at 1211 megabytes we continue with uh, the work of mr shin wai huang the guy that uh yeah uh in fact made uh uh, or ported Android to uh, normal PC to x86 systems and this is it Android 6 um, they all have the same desktop since uh, Android 3 the same wallpaper but uh, the power is under the engine and of course the desktop you can change it in everything you would like to change it into this will also run on UEFI devices so go ahead check it out I'm also gonna check it out very soon okay here you can see that we have the 32-bit version and the 64-bit version of course for UVI devices you will need the 64-bit version we love to welcome Linux Mint on the 9th of June and there they are I'm very uh, happy and proud to announce Linux Mint 18 spoke about it in my previous video and there they are it's lovely to see them and lovely to 
announce them in the desktop uh, inspection so welcome back there linux uh, built of course on the ubuntu 16 will have all the little uh, goodies also in ubuntu 16 and even though you cannot see it here that linux mint is uh, built on ubuntu 16 if you go check do some checkouts you will find out that this is built on ubuntu 16 so i'm gonna download this immediately uh, because yeah I really want the 32-bit version of this I'm not sure if there is a 32-bit version we can go ahead and take a quick look there 64-bit uh, made you know what we'll just go to the website very soon after this show we will go to the website we continue real fast with a very small distro it's called uh, Porteous <coughs> and Porteous <coughs> has the beautiful KDA uh, desktop I uh, made some uh, uh, suggestions uh, the last time about you know what could be changed but in fact it looks really beautiful and in fact yeah for a computer laptop this is a perfect and beautiful system you can use and download uh, from file size to 235 megabyte ISO for the XFCE or yeah XFCE is 234 the mate is 235 and of course the 64 bit version is uh, 413 uh, megabyte and that is as well I think they are all 64 bit versions uh, you can download 32 or 64 bit versions ISO now so this this is really cool the amnestic incognito live system tails is a Debian based live disk with the goal of providing internet anonymity for the user so let's take a look at it at the desktop so this is if you want to kind of use the internet in an anonymous way beautiful beautiful desktop I like it also with a taskbar at the bottom for the open windows we spoke about that in my previous window uh, in my previous uh, Ubuntu uh, video that uh, I created the one before this one and I spoke about the toolbar at the bottom the ben benefits of it uh, and the quietness it will bring into the top bar the application toolbar and uh, yeah this looks good I um, I think it looks really stable and it will be of course also very customizable Tails released on the 7th of June we continue with NetServer. Well, NetServer is, of course, for administrators. Uh, we can take a quick look at uh, how it looks. This is it. Um, as you can see, email addresses, groups, shared folders, etc., etc. You can all, um, yeah, configure it here and put the settings here for the other users. So go ahead, check it out if you're an administrator. Continue with Manjaro and Philip Muller has, you know, uh, announced. Uh, the latest uh, release of Manjaro is the 1606 Daniela 64 bit and uh, I love it uh, from the day one uh, love the icons they look fantastic uh, love the colors that they use um, yeah everything I love about it in fact uh, only remark I would like to make is you know get the uh, application bar as well in here so if you have apps open you won't have these you know these tiles all being in here and you know filling up the system and making your uh, desktop look kind of yeah busy so yeah that's all i think manjaro well done great job fantastic and from the sixth uh, up to the first nothing really happened and um the last distro that I reviewed on the 1st of June was Deepen and later that day Slackle also came so we missed Slackle that day from Dimitris and Slackle in fact is built on Slackware and this is very very stable peeps um, yeah um, it looks kind of yeah a little bit old-fashioned you know these uh, look and feels but trust me uh, the, the the people that know about slackware you know they will tell you that this is a fantastic distro so we can take a quick look at um 
What Dimitri has to say, he has announced the release of Slackwell 606 Open Box Edition, a new version of the project's lightweight Slackware and Celex based distribution that is available both as a live or an installation image. Um, what also would be nice uh, to you know put into these little descriptions is um, how to you know create a bootable USB uh, stick the tools that we might want to use because in some Linux distros you can just not use UNet boot in it will work with uh, Ubuntu it will work with uh, with with Linux Mint but sometimes it will just not work with all distros you know unit booting is great but yeah some distros they just don't work such as SUSE you know and many others that I know I have to burn them or create a USB bootable stick with um, with uh, power ISO under Windows 4.9 otherwise it just won't boot so peeps that uh, was it again for uh, this uh, distro watch Linux desktop inspection and uh, we want to thank all the developers that released their distros that we saw in this video great job there and thumbs up uh, special thumbs up uh, to my boys of uh, Linux Mint of course also Mr. Shin Y1 for Android x86 version 6 thumbs up uh, to Handy Linux of course Black Lab uh, my boys there at Elementary Good job there, well done. Uh, keep it up there, Porteous, J Flute, you know, thumbs up, Tails, uh, and Manjaro team, well done, Slackle. So keep it up. Also, a big thanks to uh, DistroWatch uh, website holders, uh, people behind this website. Thumbs up to you guys there for hosting this, and you know, much love, and you know, hope that uh, our uh, cooperation will you know continue for many many years and uh, keep bringing the best linux distros to the world thanks again for watching if you like this distro uh, the distro watch desktop inspection of course give this video a like and of course we love to see you in our next video again please like subscribe and also check out one of our other 1500 videos that we have on channel 48